What's going on everybody, my name is Danny and patch 8.10 has just dropped. In typical League of Legends fashion, Riot has killed the jungle and a meme has accidentally taken the meta by storm. Now that the Scuttlecrab is the single most important jungle monster in the game, thanks Riot, Shifter jokingly thought it would be a good idea to take Smite mid to take all the Scuttles for himself. After a couple games it just didn't stop winning. He is currently 8-3 taking Smite mid every single game. He has even experimented with Hecarim and Nocturne mid and the Hecarim game actually won. Now the important part is, is Shifter actually a genius in pioneering a new meta, or is he just getting stupidly lucky with these wins? Right away there are a couple of concerns with this strategy. One big one being that if you take Smite, then you lose access to an offensive summoner spell, and honestly that isn't really the case. Since you take Smite, you have access to the jungle items, and therefore the jungle upgrades as well. So after your first base, you pick up a Skirmisher Saber, and you suddenly have an Offensive Summoner. However, this also leads to the argument of, if you buy the jungle item, then you're still losing out on an item slot. This is also justifiable because the Runic Echoes enchantment has been changed, arguably for the worse, to match more appropriately the stats of the Luden's Echo, which is already possibly the best mage item in the game. While Runic Echoes does have lower stats in exchange for a lower cost, you also get access to the Skirmisher Saber Smite upgrade like I've mentioned before, making the item incredibly valuable. Now that we've addressed some immediate concerns, let's talk about the important question of why. The why is that Riot has changed the jungle again, and if you ask any challenger jungle main, the changes were largely negative. But arguably the biggest change to the jungle this patch was the needless prioritization of the Scuttle Crab. While Scuttle has always been an important part of the jungle ever since she was released, Riot has now made her the single most contested camp in the jungle by making her give more XP, give more gold, and by making one spawn at a time. These gold and XP values are substantial enough that in total honesty, it is probably going to be more important to get than any other camp except maybe a buff. Getting the crab doesn't so much revolve around junglers, but more so which lanes move to help contest it. If one mid laner roams to help get Scuttle while the other stays to farm, the jungler just got ahead for free. It's all about lane pressure and rotating, and that's exactly why taking smite mid works. The strategy isn't so much about getting your jungler ahead, instead it's more about getting you ahead in expense of the enemy jungler. It's mainly played with lane bully champions with CC capable of making Scuttle vulnerable. The most popular pick is currently Echo, but other picks include Zoe and Aurelian Soul. They are, all have abilities that can stun Scuttle while also being able to easily have priority mid lane. Even if you miss a few lane minions while going to get it, the level 1 Scuttle Crab is now worth 70 gold and 115 experience, and every crab after only gets better. So if you take the crab, you get a nice boost in gold and experience essentially for free. Even if you miss a couple minions, a level 1 crab is still worth more gold than 3 melees. So throughout the lane phase, you might end up taking 2 or 3 scuttle crabs and maybe a wraith camp or 2, and you are suddenly way ahead of the enemy laner in terms of gold and experience. Your jungler might be mad that you get all the scuttles, but as a jungle main myself, I'm more relieved that the enemy jungler at least isn't getting it. Since Echo is by far the most popular pick for this strategy, I'm going to talk about how it works specifically for him. If Echo takes Smite, then he loses access to either Ignite or Teleport for the most part. The Ignite can kind of be made up for with the Skirmisher Saber, however in matchups where we would rather take Teleport, it's definitely a bummer. Echo's wave clear is decent enough that in most matchups you shouldn't really be pressured under tower, making a roam through the Scuttle Crab easier than it is for others. Combined with his W to stun Scuttle, it takes no time at all to take the crab, and quickly return to lane or even roam to the side lane. Because of his E and his ult, he's able to counter jungle very easily, so if you ever push into an enemy tower, you can quickly check to see if the enemy jungler's wraith camp is up, and take those as well. The build is very straightforward, the only change being that you replace a Luden's Echo with the Runic Echo's Red Smite upgrade, and, and you finish this first. The rest of your build stays exactly the same. Even your runes don't have to change. An optimal rune page looks like this, with the important runes being the Electrocute Keystone and the Minion Dematerializer rune in the Inspiration Tree. Now, is taking Smite mid good? I think the only appropriate answer to that is, it's kind of good. It isn't really going to be anything meta-breaking. It's just a fun troll build that ultimately really isn't any different than if you didn't take Smite. It's just a gimmick to make the enemy jungler useless at the potential expense of your lane. Matchups that you already win become a coin flip of either winning way harder than normal or having a much harder time than normal. Matchups that you already lose get lost way harder, and skill matchups put you at a disadvantage because you are down an impactful summoner spell. It's fun, it's troll, and it can make for a new experience in League, which is hard to come by these days. 
If you really want to put the enemy jungler behind, then pick a lane dominant champion and be ready to roam for scuttles. Is it viable? I think on a list of all mid laners, Smite Echo would be sitting at around B tier. So while it technically is still viable, it's not something you'd want to pick when so many better champions are left open. So thank you all very much for watching. My name's Danny, and I'll see you next time.